I know that I was more than some of the choices I was making. Mm -hmm. But then at the same time, I didn't have confidence in what I thought I should be doing. I didn't think it it yeah. would it would flourish. So I was scared of both things. So it's like I went in the middle. Oh, I got stories now. I'm talking. I got stories that I'm thinking about writing the book and putting in the book type stories now. I'm talking about. I'm talking about with with hip hop artists that people don't even stories about famous people that have been around me and that I've been around things I've seen that people don't, that the stories that ain't even been told like that you know what I'm saying that had never been told like that but anyway to get back to, to how I got into this that's how I basically got into it so, so I always had a a love for vinyl and a love for records and and I was a digger to the to the max and 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 I'm not proud to say this but I'm the type that's like Zo come pick me up. Let's say we go on some place. We go on some place and then boom, we see we we go by a certain a spot like a flea market or something like that. And say we go to the flea market, somebody got records, they selling records, this that and the third, boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna see what they got. I'm gonna buy records, this that and the third, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I'm not proud to say this, but. If I was in the situation and my finances wasn't like that, uh -huh. oh man, yep. uh -huh. I'm Say going less. to get them records. Say that. I'm going to get them records. Hey man, I'm going to yeah. get the records now. Now listen, 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 listen. I now. was like that. You talking yeah, to the nice. nice. I was like, no, 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 no. You talking? You talking to a man that's like, bro, I don't steal from nobody. I yeah. don't take nothing from nobody. I don't do nothing. Oh, That's wow. not my thing. I, I, I can't. I despise that. But boy, that vinyl that you're not playing, that you don't give a fuck about, you really don't care about that now. You really don't care about it. Because why is that sitting up here? Why is that sitting out here outside and getting weathered? The album covers being being weathered by the by the elements and all of that. If you really care about that, no, Vern coming to get that. And that's Word. that's what I used to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, see, and, and I'm not proud of that. I'm not proud of that. But that's what that. I used to do. And, and and that's that's just how much that's just how much I was on it. Then that's I started doing liberating. things like this. Right, right. Then then when I started doing things like this, like I started bringing my producer friends down here to certain record stores. You see what I'm saying? Like I'll bring them down here and put them on to the records to the record stores. Was Papa you know Jazz open then, back then? Yeah, Papa Jazz been open for years. Okay. Yeah, Papa Jazz. I, 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 Papa. Let me tell you something. I know Tim on the first name basis. I'm the only black man that walk up in that walk up in Papa Jazz store. And Tim used to go upstairs. They had he had there's an upstairs in there that only he can go into. We, we got which got the the fucking the ill shit up there. You know what I'm saying? Tim will go upstairs for me, and everybody yeah, in Columbia knew that. You shit. put me on. You, I want to say my first time mm -hmm. going there was with you. Mm -hmm. He will. Well, you he will, pointed me. You told you me to go there. Mm -hmm. He he will go upstairs. He will go upstairs for me. I tell Tim of like Papa Jazz had to be one of the illest record stores in the South, bro. It Period. was man. Period. And it was and it was and it was classic. I remember. Man, I brought dope. Vic down here. Dope. I brought Vic from Vic from beating us down here. Man, listen, them boys cracked ten thousand dollar knot in the store. God damn, your boys cracked a ten thousand dollar knot. When I brought when I brought him, they was like, Vic was like, what? Yo, this is ew. He's like, yo, and, get what you. And that want. ain't like today's prices. I'm either. paying for it. What, what was the, what was the most again. expensive record you you think you saw in that store at that time? Uh, some, their records their, their their records was their records was reasonable. They they wasn't crazy like the um mm. like the convention prices or nothing like that. They wasn't crazy mm. like the convention prices like that. The most you I think the highest record I probably seen in that place was probably seventy five dollars, bro. Wow. 
it was probably seventy five dollars. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, it wasn't. You know, so that's probably the highest. Line you know what I'm saying? That was my shit. Damn, yeah, this this is crazy, Prince. This, this, uh, yeah, you said it. You said it's gonna be deep. Yeah, man. I like I would, you know. I like I said. I know it's a lot of lot of history. It's a lot of. It's a lot, man. Yeah. And now I look back at it like we was all super friends and didn't know it. Like, like he was saying certain things. It just reminded me of how, like, we all had super friends growing up. Like, like I said, Shaq Kim, like Vern, like the 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 associations were super, but the the good associations were super, but the bad associations were super too. I won't mention those. Cause yeah. I don't want to give any fuel to that, but I'm just yeah. saying it was that equal, and it could have it could have went either way. And I think mm-hmm. both. I think for me, I was scared of both options. I think I was mean? scared of. At the time, I think I I didn't. I think I didn't want to. I know that I, I. I know that I was more than some of the choices I was making, mm-hmm. but then at the same time. I didn't have confidence in what I thought I should be doing. I didn't think it it yeah. would it would flourish. So I was scared of both things. So it's like I went in the middle. That, that sounds real f- familiar, man. About <laughs> one foot uh one foot in, one foot out and not me. See, it's different for, for you and me though cuz I didn't have to. It was stupid for me to even get involved to begin with. I, I didn't have to. I was out in the burbs. I could have just kept getting job after job. I didn't have to do that shit. But my, I felt since I didn't have people, I was trying to find, be accepted somewhere. I just wanted wanted people. I wanted somebody mm-hmm. to, to love. I wanted to be loved and shit. You know what I mean? So this was a, it was a crew that accepted me. Yeah. And that. And that you know, wanting to be there and then loving what we were doing so much musically and loving what we could, what we had the potential to do so much. I, yeah, I was all fucked up, man. I, I, I can't even, it, it would take too long to try to explain how, how all that shit went, man. But I I realized now, I've just been realizing over the past month that it was really about acceptance and wanting to be accepted and wanting to be loved, man. That, you said it, because that's what it was for me. It was, um, always doing what I thought other people think I should be doing. Like, that's a crazy thing to think. Like, I'm thinking about what you think I should be doing and I care about what you think I should be doing so much that I want to please you. I want to please you by making a smart decision by doing what you think I should do. What the fuck? That's crazy. But we didn't have anybody to direct us. That shit is crazy. (laughs) <laughs> I, I I had an uncle that he was a, he wasn't an actual uncle he was, he was Puerto Rican but he was the only person that would kind of pull me to the side and 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 tap me when I when things were going wrong but he had a life of his own and by the time I was an adult and I I avoided him honestly because I knew he was a conscience. Mm. So, mm. Yeah, I, I didn't and you know my, my father had taught me that my whole childhood to to damn near hate my mother. So I, I wouldn't turn to her. And then, you know, he he was on some wild shit um, just before, right after I graduated. So I cut him off. So I was pretty much just floating alone. I started off at 18, pretty much like, okay, I just got to figure out what life is about. But I didn't really have any direction or anybody to help point me around because of my own stupid decisions. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And that that all stemmed back to some other shit. But yeah, this, I ain't, we ain't trying to make this shit all deep. But damn, you you sounds like you went through something real similar, man. I'm just saying, you just the pressure of wanting to be accepted, like like even to this day, I I have I hate that it's family members that or people that yeah, it's family members that you just they'll never accept me on a certain level like just because they feel I should do something else um and it 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 shouldn't bother you but it does because it's like damn like how are you so you know I don't even I'm so conscious of it I don't even want to judge you 
You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to call it. I don't even know have the word for it. It's just whatever it is. But because whatever I say, they'll be offended. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, but for you to say it like that, like exactly like that, like for you to say it, they would be offended. That's exactly what's got me in my situation. I'm in with 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 my mother, man. Like I, I just, I don't, I can't think of any way to say what I gotta say without being disrespectful. And yeah, so you don't say anything, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and then, but that's taken as it, it is. That's I'm, I'm, I gotta, I gotta grow and figure out how to how to manage that and do better. And I'm, that's what I'm working on. I know I gotta figure that out. But until then, I, I just don't know what else to do, man. Yeah, I have a lot of um. I relate, like, for me, I try to reach out to my birth mother. I try to reach out, I'll text her and just let her know, boom, you're thought of, you're cared about. You're, I, I'm concerned, are you okay? Like that type of thing. But no more than that, because we can't, we can't have more than that. She won't, you know, it's on her. I'm, But I, it's like, I've, for me, that's just my clear conscience, you know, but yeah. Um, I I know I know enough now not to get too wrapped up because energy transfers. So, mm-hmm. you know, we don't we don't hate people. We don't. And if they have guilt and fear and things like that in their system, I don't need that recycling. I don't yeah. need that filling me up. Yeah. Yeah. That that so shit it is it's infectious, man. It's not like, malicious. I, and, it, <laughs> and it's not intentional. It's not intentional. Yeah. I, like literally the only reason I'm, I feel like I'm finally getting where I am is because I, I put a force field around myself for a while. I, I don't think I could have done this without doing that, man. I've been yeah. trying the same. I've been trying to do this same shit that we're doing right now for 20 years. Me, like <laughs> 25 years. And, and that's we what did I, it in six months without even trying by accident, just by working on ourselves. And see, that's what I, I'm trying to like, and I have like, I keep saying this, I have so many people that's around reaching out now, like they, they hitting you up like, <sighs> watch what I say. It's like, um, like, it's like, just like you said, man, it's the magic, yo. It's like, we're not even trying. Like, so that's, that tells you something. Like, <laughs> I was trying before, trying hard. Hard like, as fuck. Like, like tempering myself, compromising, all kind Compromi- of shit, yo. Yeah, not being and able it, to be myself at all. It still ain't work, yo. Mm-hmm. Like, that, that still wasn't good enough. And dealing with y'all, like, that's how I know it's right. Like, that's why I don't even... I'm not worried right now because this is the first time in my life I've done something I feel real good about and I see it growing. Yeah. I see Gray Skull growing. I see, I just, I'm I'm just so thankful to be a part of it, man. Like, man. like it's going like, I'm a rep, yo. <laughs> you already are, man. You, you, you know what are, man? You, he man right now carrying this motherfucker on your back a lot of the, a lot of these days, man. I mean, Not everybody at all. actually the, the load Not is getting spread all. very evenly now. I know, but I mean, as far as day by day grind, like yo, I'm I'm rhyming and I'm hitting you with a new rhyme. Well, see, you are carrying that load right there, and that's a lot right now. That's you know what, like that's well, then that's what I'm supposed to be doing because that's I enjoy, it, yo. Yeah, but like, it, but in the same sense, like I said, the, the load is evening out now. And because everybody kind of spent the end of 2021 clearing their, clearing their sheds out a little bit. And now she and Black Mavs are doing shit. She's been doing a lot of mixing and all that shit for us. And he's been uh, banging joints out. Damon, you see what the fuck Damon doing, man. Man, he's a killer. He's yeah. a killer, man. He's a killer, yo. Bro. And uh, Damon and Reese, they like Zoe yeah. Pitchfork, yo. Like, like exactly. that's, a team, yeah. yo. Like, that's a good team right that's there, yo. That's a combination. That's dope. <laughs> I'm trying to get a meeting in with the two of them soon, man. I think between the day and tomorrow, we're gonna have an actual meeting, man. So, I'll, yeah, because Reese is that dude, man. man. 
Um, shit, T-Bear, the way he's been doing lately. I mean, his mixes and the, his cut selection and what he's been choosing for these cuts is fucking impeccable. Oh, man. I, I, couldn't, have, I couldn't have done better. Nobody could have done better than what he's he's doing and picking these. That that by the power, that shit feels like it's ordained by the universe. That don't feel like T-Bear even selected that shit. It, cause, I mean, because I know when I make certain beats, I'm like, I don't know how the fuck that shit happened at the end of it. Mm-hmm. I think that's mm-hmm. that feels how a lot of this is happening. It's, it's just... Cause I was thinking last night about how Born happened. I was just like, God damn. That song took about a month and a half to make, but we were patient, we didn't push it. And everybody kind of did their piece one at a time. It actually took longer than that cause she made the beat years ago. Mm-hmm. Well, and a mm-hmm. lot of these joints are years in the I mean, you rhymed over a beat I started back in 94. I started that beat for Octong in 94. That's the original, that's the, actually sampled the original tape cassette for the beat that you rhymed over. So you rhyming over this audio from 94, literally from 94, that was recorded in a Amiga computer. Wow. From a turntable, from wax. That, I mean, we, and that beat went through transitions. I've re, I made part of it in like 2010, I think, or something like that. It, it was old before you got to it. So, it, and then it had, and then I chopped up the beat that I made then to make something else about to make what ended up being our song about five years ago. So it, that joint has been through uh, processes, man. See, now that's what I I'm trying to get from from you and others. Like, I don't save enough, and I end up yeah. like I'll I'll be thinking about it. Man, I had a song, <laughs> but I erased it because I needed space. Yeah, that shit is hard. Like, that's the shit I'll do, yo. Yo, I got hard drives in my garage. I got stacks of hard drives that I don't even know what's on, but I just saved them in case there's an old beat on them, motherfuckers. I know I need to just get rid of, but it, that's how much I hoard data. Like, I I had all my rhymes from back in the 90s until about three, four months ago. I just said, fuck this. I'm throwing all this shit out. I'm, I'm trying to scale down. But, yeah, I, I threw mean, a trash bag out of, of rhymes. Yeah, yeah those... Those connections still exist, man. Like I said, we shot him, man. I can't wait. Um, so we can talk to him too. How did you meet Shot Kim? I say, <laughs> <laughs> stop it, yo. Hold on, man. That's been one of the best things, man. Configure, I'm missing out today, man. I'm missing out. But we shooting this video. Oh man, yeah, we shooting. Get it. Get it video, Kelvin Barnett on the camera, Pitchfork and Yanni on the bang pow. And I'm Kareem Hughes, AKA Zoda Instrument Band, baby. Gray Skull. <laughs> oh yeah. You are in charge, you set the limit. Bring him up. Oh yeah, you get the history. 
Gabby, get it. 